During a recent trip to Williamsburg, Virginia, we had dinner at a local restaurant that we've been to a couple of times and we really enjoy it. It's called Food for Thought. And in the next four minutes or less, we are going to let you know what makes this place unique and we'll let you know what we thought of our meals. As you enter, you'll notice the logo, which has Ben Franklin wearing a chef's hat. This place has a lot of theming that invokes the country's founders as well as inventors or societal leaders or scientists. In fact, many of the walls of this restaurant are covered with quotes from these famous people, and they're often good conversation starters. Yeah, this place really tries to be a place that engages the mind in addition to the appetite. They have an interesting selection of thought-provoking books on their shelves, many of which they also sell in their gift shop. Their menu is set up like a novel, with appetizers listed as the prologue. Each chapter of the menu has clever titles. The first chapter is their beef entrees. The second chapter is chicken dishes. And seafood entrees are next followed by vegetarian dishes and sandwiches. And the final chapter is, of course, the desserts. And there's end notes at the end of the menu. That's all the sides you have to choose from. It's a really eclectic menu. There would be something for everyone on here if you enjoy consuming food. The back cover of the menu talks about the philosophy of the guy who created this restaurant and what he hopes to communicate to people through the restaurant. The meal starts with free bread service. Our basket had a couple different types of bread. One was cornbread, the other had cheese baked on top of it. They were both good. Jack ordered stick to your ribs. This was pork baby back ribs with a smoky barbecue sauce and two sides. Jack selected steamed broccoli and mashed sweet potato for his sides. The ribs were very tender and just fell off the bone. He really thought the sides were also done well. His meal was $24. I ordered the pot roast with gravy. My two sides were cream spinach and mashed potatoes with gravy. I loved the pot roast here. It was really tender and very flavorful. My sides were good also, though I probably wouldn't get the cream spinach again. It was good, but just not my favorite. My meal was $17. We've got some fun drinks to discuss, but first, if you're enjoying this video, click the thumbs up button to give us a like. In addition to our water, Alice ordered a rum runner. It contained rum, blackberry brandy, banana liqueur, pineapple juice, and grenadine. That drink was priced at $9. I got a drink called Tito's Hot Chocolate. It was a hot chocolate with some vodka added in and had whipped cream and marshmallows on top. My drink was $8. We ended the meal splitting a refreshing dessert of sorbet. It was a scoop of mango sorbet and a scoop of raspberry sorbet. This dessert was $6.50. One thing I really liked was that they have discussion cards on the tables. These questions are supposed to be conversation starters, like what is the best lesson you have learned in life so far? Or what is your motto for life? Each card would have a quote from someone related to the question, and you can have a conversation about whatever questions are being asked. They do have a full bar, and that room has photographs and brief bios of important people who changed the world, like Rosa Parks, Charles Goodyear, and Harriet Tubman. There are also some more quotes in this area from thought leaders like Oliver Wendell Holmes and Winston Churchill and Yoda. You exit through their souvenir shop. They sell a box of Food for Thought discussion cards to use as conversation starters at home. They also have a lot of books to choose from for both kids and adults. They also have a number of t-shirts with pithy sayings. We really enjoyed this place. The staff was so friendly and they really did a great job of taking care of their customers. Due to the current pandemic, they do suggest that you get reservations at least an hour in advance if you want to dine inside. You can call and order food for takeout if that would be easier. And weather permitting, they do have an outdoor seating area that is first come first serve. Thanks for joining us and please consider subscribing to our channel so you'll be able to keep up with our travels going forward. I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. And we'll see you the next time we're traveling through.